Hello, hello! Welcome to another episode of Prehistory in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to my generous patrons and my channel members over at our sister channel, History in the Dark. You are the reason why this content remains unexpected. And today we are going to discuss a very, very big bird. This is the story of the largest parrot in the history of the world. New Zealand, much like Madagascar, is known for its unique and rather various biology. There's a lot of interesting creatures that exist there that just don't exist throughout the rest of the world. And historically, it was much the same. There are many animals that no longer live there, but when they were alive, only lived there. So paleontologists have been fascinated with New Zealand in general, and it's a good place to look for creatures that have not yet been identified in the fossil record. And one of them was discovered in 2008. It is known as Heracles Inexpectatus, or Heracles the Unexpected, named, of course, for the Greek hero Heracles, sometimes called Hercules if you're Roman. And they were parrots, you know, squawking, mimicky parrots that some people keep as tropical pets. But this was no ordinary parrot. Oh no! This parrot was the big chungus of parrots. Beyond the name Heracles, the nickname applied to this species given by paleontologist Mike Archer, is Squawkzilla, because they stood up to one meter, or three feet, three inches tall, and weighed about seven kilograms, or 15 pounds. They were big, big, huge parrots. It's believed they were probably flightless, and their closest living relatives, other than regular parrots, would probably be the kakapo, which are also New Zealand natives, flightless, nocturnal, and ground-dwelling, and critically endangered. It's believed there are only 199 living individuals in the wild, and conservation efforts actually started in the 1890s, but weren't actually very effective until 1995. But back to the Heracles, what is the deal with Squawkzilla over here? Why would there be such a massive, massive bird? Well, New Zealand has a history with massive birds, actually. There were plenty of giant birds in New Zealand for whatever reason, like the moa. And in fact, there is the known concept of island gigantism, or insular gigantism, where the size of an animal species that's isolated increases dramatically in comparison to its mainland relatives. So it's likely their isolation on an island led to this particular species of parrot getting so unspeakably large. But the real question then is, why did they go extinct? They lived during the early Miocene, which is about 16 to 19 million years ago. Did we kill them? Well, no, actually, not this time. The ancestors of modern humans wouldn't even show up until the late Miocene, let alone actual Homo sapiens. So we weren't the reason the Heracles went extinct. It could be for any number of reasons. The shift in the climate, or the presence of a new predator species that the parrots simply couldn't evade. Either way, they're gone now, which is sad, but at the same time, would it also not be horrifying to have a parrot that use? I wonder if they could mimic too, like other parrot species can. That would be interesting. A giant talking bird in your house. Literal Big Bird, except he's a parrot. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.